What is up guys, this is the Dropshipping Hacker here, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to import products directly from AliExpress to your Shopify store using the app called Oberlo. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe because I'm dropping new videos weekly on how to create and launch your first Shopify business. And guys, be sure to stick around through the entire video because I'm going to show you exactly how to import these products and how you can import more than one but multiple products to your Shopify store with one click. So with that said, let's get started. All right. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to log into your Shopify dashboard. Uh, so this is what the Shopify dashboard looks like. And guys, if you haven't already subscribed to Shopify, I'm going to drop a link in the video description below for a 14 day free trial to get started. Uh, so that'll be in the link in the video description below. So this is the Shopify dashboard. This is the back office, so to speak, of your Shopify store. I've just gone ahead and created this uh, uh, like a cozy camper Shopify store just for demonstration purposes. So the very first thing you're, you're going to want to do is to install Oberlo into your Shopify store. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over to the left here on this control panel and you're going to click apps. Then you're going to hit visit Shopify app store. And here is going to be the, this is the app store for Shopify. So there's going to be a lot of different apps. There's going to be a lot of different tools that you're going to be able to use for your Shopify store. But in this video, we're just going to install Oberlo. So go ahead and just search for Oberlo and you'll see there it is right there. All you, and this is absolutely free to use. And if you want, I'll read real quickly what Oberlo does for you. Um, it easily imports and drop ship products directly into your store. Uh, have your order shipped directly to your customers in just a few clicks. And know that your inventory and prices are always up to date. So Oberlo really helps to sort of systemize your Shopify drop shipping business. It really makes things a lot easier. So you're not wasting a lot of time manually importing uh, product photos, product titles, descriptions, pricing, all of that. So with Oberlo, as, as you're going to see in this video, um, with one click of a button, you can upload everything right into your, well, you can import everything right into your Shopify store. So go ahead and click the get button. Again, that's free, absolutely free. And what that's going to do is Shopify is going to install that right into your Shopify store. So go ahead and click install app. And Shopify really makes it easy to add apps. All right, so we've got Oberlo installed on the Shopify store. So if we go back to our dashboard here and we just go ahead and refresh, Oberlo should, yep, there it is. So this is where you're, so when you guys go to apps over here, um, this is where you can access the app store. This is also where you're gonna have your whole list of apps that you've installed. So we can see here that we've got Oberlo installed. So the next thing you're going to want to do is go to Google. We're going to, we're going to download the Oberlo Chrome extension. So go ahead and just type in Oberlo Chrome extension. And it's just going to be the very first uh, result. And then just go ahead and click add to Chrome. And then click add extension. And that's going to add your Chrome extension right up here. So there we go. We've just added the Oberlo AliExpress.com product importer has been added to Chrome. So that is the Oberlo Chrome extension. That's what it's going to look like on your browser. All right. So then the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go to AliExpress.com. And for those of you who aren't familiar, AliExpress is basically... Um, a website for Chinese manufacturers to showcase their products for drop shipping. Um, I'll put in, you can check my channel, I put together a product research video on exactly how to use AliExpress to do product research. There's a number of ways to go about it, um, but I'm not going to go over that in this video. So since uh, I created the Cozy Camper site, 
Um, let's go ahead and just look for some, I don't know, maybe some camping lights. All right, so camping light. And guys, always be sure to sort by orders. That way you'll see what the top orders are. And for some reason this is coming up as a list. I like to look at this as a grid. And again, I always like to go for e-packet shipping. If it doesn't have e-packet shipping, like this right here, I'm not even going to waste my time with it. And if you guys aren't familiar, e-packet shipping is basically, um, it's a lot faster shipping. Uh, usually, I would say between two to four weeks, depending. Um, but that's going to be the fastest shipping that you're going to have available with the drop shipping business model. So always go with ePack, it's very reliable. Um, so let's go ahead and just, so now that you've got the Chrome extension, or yeah, the Chrome extension added here, what's gonna happen is when you highlight these products, you're gonna see the little Oberlo symbol on all of this. So before we had the Chrome extension added, this wasn't, you know, this wasn't showing up. So this doesn't show up until we add that Chrome extension. And what that does is it's going to allow us to import these products uh, to our Oberlo app. So go ahead and just, all you're going to do is just click. So look at that, product imported successfully. So we added that product. Um, let's see. These look pretty cool. I want to add that to my store. Um, I don't want this because it looks cool, but there's no e-packet. These lanterns look cool. I want to add that to my store. And guys, just go ahead. It's, it's really that simple. Just keep on clicking whatever you want to add to your store. Let's add the, that one too. So once you've got all of your products added to your Overlo app, you can go ahead and just open import list right here through the Chrome extension. And what that does is it, it opens up the Overlo app in your Shopify account. And you can see here, um, these are the products that we just imported from AliExpress. Again, AliExpress is the website we go to to find suppliers to fulfill our drop shipping business. So here we have the product picture. We've got the, the, the title of the product. We've got a description. Um, and you're gonna, you know, I'm not gonna go over this in this video, but you're gonna want to create some co copy of your own. I mean, this is really generic. Um, you know, if you really want to capture your audience, your audience attention, you want to put some effort into creating some unique content. Like someone might not be interested in just purchasing from you if you don't spice things up a little bit. Um, then we got variants. So these are just different colors. Maybe it could be different shapes. Um, so variance is always great because when you do advertising, uh, if you're doing like Facebook ads, you can just run one ad for one product and then when they get to your page, then they've got four different options for that same product. So essentially you're marketing four different products under one ad. So I always love it when there's different colors to pick from because not, you know, green isn't gonna appeal to everybody. So the more colors we can get, the more chances we have of uh, sale conversion. And then of course we got images. So this product here has a couple different images available. So you can see how much information is available for every single product. Now imagine manually importing all of this to your store. I mean, if you're gonna be testing 20 different products, it's gonna take a lot of time and you want to focus your time on testing and running ads to your products not importing them to your store um, so the next thing that we're gonna do is because we're not done yet so if these you know if, you can always delete these if you wanted to you know remove from import list uh, but for this pr video we're gonna push all these products to the store so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna click this green button at the very top push all products to shop. You can always push, you know, each individually, you know, if you're editing these descriptions, because you can edit those here. So go ahead and just push all products to shop. And it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to push all products to your shop? Yes. And that's it. So every, all these products that we just imported from AliExpress, we imported it to our Overlo app. And then 
Oberlo app pushed it to our Shopify store. So let's see if we can take a look. I don't really have my Shopify store set up here very well, uh, but we can go to products. And then this is when you when you go into the products tab. This is where you can kind of manage all your products from the dashboard instead of having to go into your store. So I've got a couple different products. I've already added a couple products to the store before. Um, so if you want to see what that looks like, we can take a look here. So I don't have this set up, but this is a product that I had imported uh, the other day. This is a first aid kit. So this is what it would look like. You've got your image, you've got your title, Let's see. Let's go to bestsellers. I want to see if I've set this up. If I've got any more. Okay. So here we have a little bit. This one we've got. We've got a size large and small. This is incorrect. It shouldn't be color. So there's going to be things that you're going to tweak with your products. But this is just a little general way to just move this stuff quickly into your Shopify store. So we've got all our pictures, we've got our description, we've got our pricing, we've got the title. So it's really that easy to push products to your store. Again, if you want to manage them through the dashboard, just go to products. And then if you need to delete them, you can always delete the products from here, delete selected products. Um, you can check on your inventory. So you can just go ahead and play around with this, but I just wanted to make a quick video tutorial on which app I use to import my products. And I definitely recommend Overload just because, I mean, it's absolutely free to use. Uh, it's very, very easy to use, um, especially if you're a beginner. So I highly recommend that. Um, again, guys, if you haven't already signed up for Shopify, I do have a 14-day free trial for you, and that's in the description below. I'll share a link for that. It's a 14-day free trial. Um, and also, if you're new to the drop shipping business and you're looking to get started, I put together a free ebook for you with the six-step formula um, from everything from A to Z to getting your Shopify drop shipping store set up. So you can download that. I'll have a link for that in the video description below. That's absolutely free. Um, or you could go to www.thedropshippinghacker.com to get that. And guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. So I know that I'm getting the support that I, you know, I'll keep putting out these videos as long as I'm getting those likes, those comments. I really just want to know that you guys are getting value out of this. Be sure to share it with your friends. And if you haven't already done so, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I do put out videos for you weekly. Uh, I do want to see you guys succeed with this Shopify dropshipping business because it really is a great business uh, to get started, especially if you're a beginner or if you don't have a lot of money. So I definitely highly recommend dropshipping. It's, it's a great way to get started if you're looking to get into making a business online. So guys, that is it for today, and uh, I hope to see you in my next video. All right, see ya.